those who are about criticizing preachers beware be careful it may cost you your life hello my family welcome again to direct tv bringing to you the truth welcome guys to this special episode of my video again and right in today's video guys i'm here again with the man of god by person of um prophet shepherd bushiri and also the man of god by person of um dr umar pai you know recently i've been posting videos of this man of god all right but um there is something that i like saying in my channel which um you know i preach it all a lot all right concerning the fact that you shouldn't put yourself or you shouldn't be part of those who criticize men of god because it is very very wrong all right and this man of god um dr mark by is going to be talking on the dangers why you shouldn't um try it because it might cost you your life this is very important and this is a great message for each and everyone to listen to all right and immediately after that i'll be right back with the man of god by person of prophet shepherd bushiri that will be sharing with us his experience and what he saw in uganda so before we dive into the video for those of you coming very new to my channel kindly the subscribe button subscribe and if you haven't liked the video please hit the like button like today's video guys watch this i'll be right back all those who are about criticizing preachers beware be careful it may cost you your life we don't just gather because the pastor is looking for money. To the average Igbo man, oh, they're looking for money. They're looking. A young man in my village used to say to me, oh, man, every time you say to Araya, I am almighty because the treasure I told you, good money has come in. I said to him, my brother, what we are doing may look stupid, but God is interested in it. Take it easy. Or oh, this God will punish you. Yeah. This God will not show interest. He left for Canada. You know, and lost his memory in Canada. Removed his trousers, his shirts, and walked into the city of Canada with no one helping him, with no dress with no trousers, with no shirts, and they arrested him for coming into that town naked. As I speak, he's dead. All those who are about criticizing preachers, beware, be careful. It may cost you your life. I suspended the pastor in New York for committing adultery. Do you know he went home and hired 11 arm robbers to come after me? When they called me and said they were coming to deal with me, I asked them to come quickly so that we can finish the business of the night and go to bed. They said, We are not preachers, we are arm robbers. My friend stopped. My father had an arm robber who was our neighbor. He didn't stop us from having good breakfast. Come. I'm waiting for you. They arrived. What people don't know is to the man who is a man of God, God sits at the door of his house to receive his enemies. They arrived. <clears throat> As I arrived, my gate became mobile. My gate to go up and come down. Go up. They ask me, what is this? You have come to kill a man who has no father, but the father sits at the gate to receive all of you. So everybody say your prayer quickly. This is your last night on earth. I was so happy to see them go on their knees. All right, my family, there you have it with um, Dr. Omar Pai. As he shares that amazing testimony all right you can imagine that and if you listen to many of the testimony of this man each and every one that have come to kill him they will end up giving their life to christ 
right what an amazing testimony several times they have tried killing him but he keeps waxing stronger and coming out victorious guys so i'd like you to go out and, and also search for his messages and listen to they will inspire you a lot his testimonies they will inspire you so much guys so i'd like you to listen to um you know um what the man of god prophet shepherd bushiri is going to be saying about uganda when he went to uganda you're going to be amazed what he really saw there all right it, it, it also done on us as christians that we should pray all right you should pray because there are a lot of people that won't come out all right and serve god if our prayer or if we don't offer prayer if we don't pray let's watch this guys don't forget to kindly the subscribe button and like today's video watch this i was one day in uganda i was in uganda one time and when we arrived there they didn't know why i said at night when i was praying God told me, he said, there is a place you have if you want to do the meeting tomorrow. There is a place you must go and deal with. So I said, ah, what is this place? So the following morning, I had that word. God told me the name of the place. He said, there is a place called Jinja. I asked the one who was hosting me, I said, my son, do you know a place called the Ginger City? I said, I want you, I want to go. He's like, oh, my father, you will enjoy the place. It's a dualism place. So I said, take me there. So they took me and they, they were all thinking I'm going there. Every time I go to Uganda, they will tell you, I will not preach until they take me there. As we are driving, I said, can you stop by that bush? And my Sunday, he drove and I walked out. I went into the bush. Guess what I saw? Under a tree, an altar, demonic altar, where people had put traditional pots, you know, these traditional pots, all around, around the tree. And you could see dead chickens. That they actually, some died a long time ago, some, you just see around that place. I said, I, I got it. I went back into the car. I said, this is serious. We now, we now drove to Ginger. Ginger is a source of Nile River. I said, take me. I said, I want to jump into, into the boat. I want to see where the Nile River starts. So as you were taking on the boat, I said, move along, along the, the river. All I was seeing along the river were altars, demonic altars, people putting pots and crazy stuff all around. And, and I was just behaving like I'm not seeing nothing. But I was not with them. Spiritually, I was in a dimension of warfare. I knew it is so difficult prophetically. The land of Uganda to be redeemed if these altars are not dealt with. And intercessors are men of God and women of God in Uganda. They have so much work to do because prophetically, whether you like it or not, God has raised up a pulpit. The pulpit of God is in Uganda. You didn't hear me. But they will never get it. And it will trust you me, until these altars are broken as much as it is uganda was supposed to be a headquarters of the glory of god but the altars of the land the land is polluted and his intercessors men of god women of god to pray and fight but they will never because the enemy has gone and, 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 and took over a lot of men of God and made them to start fighting each other. So now it's the battle of the church. So I'm like, so I'm moving there and, and they're, move, they're moving me. And I'm like, oh, this is crazy. I could sense warfare. Altars of the land. You must Make sure you deal with altars of you were not there in New York when New York was being established.
All right, my family, there you have it with the man of God by person of Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. So you can hear that the nation of Uganda really need intercessors. But apart from that, you that is watching today's video and you know you are a Christian, you can as well pray for the nation of Uganda. Remember, that is what the, the scripture instructs in 1 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1. It says, I exhort therefore that that's the first thing you should do, that first of all, prayers and supplication should be made for all men you see including everybody so the nation of nigeria or uganda is also included so make sure that you pray for that nation because um god um is interested in the people and christians there too all right so i really believe you are blessed in today's video of by both of the testimony of things shared by these two men of god by personal Dr. Mark Bai and also the man of God, um, Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. And I'd love to um, hear what has blessed you in the comment section. So kindly hit, um, comment and tell me what has blessed you. And also don't forget, if this is your first time on my channel, just kindly hit the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel. And if you have not liked the video up to this point, please hit the like button, like today's video, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.